Hey everybody. I hope you can see me okay. It seems really dark in this room. I gotta tell you, I think like 75 to 95% of things I attempt to record or broadcast or anything like that get screwed up. <laughs> Tonight is no exception. I was supposed to be at my husband's shop per the norm. I attempt to record or broadcast. Ooh, there's my hold like on. That. Oh, shut the suit up. Um, he accidentally locked his keys inside of his toolbox. So, uh, can't actually, can't actually go there because <laughs> it's locked. Hey, Jennifer. So, um, yeah, I was locked out of the, out of there. And, uh, now I'm over at my mother-in-law's house again. Um, and I'm in the guest room this time. Last time I was in her sunroom in the back. I guess the lighting's a little better back there. It's a bit dim in here, and I have two windows open, so the sun's going down, so we'll see what happens. I have this giant jar. This is what I'm going to be. This is my project for the night. Check it out. That one is, let's say, 65 something. 65, 25 for this thing. But look at the bottom. There's a butterfly down there. I don't know if y'all can tell, but there's a lot of, I can already tell. Hey, Teresa. Hey, Sandy. Hey, 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 hey. Um, oh, let me get this thing over to live chat. Instead of that stinking top chat. All right, so I'm going to complain to y'all super quick. I don't like to be negative and I don't like to complain, but man, this week has been <laughs> very trying with this stupid air conditioning. And then uh, I'm trying to get my husband a birthday present. I've got him sunglasses, like prescription sunglasses with these frames he already had. And there's like, there's a whole story behind this thing. Basically, in a nutshell, when we first started dating, I ruined the lenses in this frame. And they're like Oakley's expensive frames. I think they were like over $300. And so I found them randomly like in the bathroom under our <laughs> bathroom sink. I don't know. He hasn't worn them in years. And uh, I decided that this year was going to be the year that I replaced the lenses. So... I sent him out and basically they got lost in the shuffle. His birthday's in two days and I still don't have them. And I sent him out the second, the second of this month. So it's been almost a full month and I still don't have them. So that was one snafu. The other is the air conditioning in which I drove an hour, over an hour to go pick up an air, like a window unit until, hey, Devin, <laughs> I'm glad you made it to a live. Hi, hi. Um, so yeah, so I drove an hour to go pick up this unit already paid for at a Home Depot and they didn't actually have them. They weren't in stock. So despite the website saying they had two in stock, me paying for it, it's saying it'll be ready for pickup in five minutes. Me driving over an hour <laughs> to get to the shop. It was not actually there. So then I spent another hour on the phone trying to locate a shop to like a Lowe's down there that actually had one. Only to be sent on another wild goose chase. I got sent to another Lowe's that didn't actually have it, but they told me they were in stock. So I ended up just getting the largest unit that they had available. All this to say, the city down there is the only city. Hey, Kristen. Hey, SMB. Who else is over here? Who else is in this chat? Oh my gosh. Let me, let me hold this up. So, so all this to bring me back to this jar. The deal is <laughs> there is one store in one store only in the entire tri-city area, literally, that has jewelry jars. Everybody else, any other Goodwills around here you call, they tell you that the industry won't sell them. They won't let you sell them anymore. They all get sent into like the shop Goodwill site or whatever. But not this very one, one single, sing, singular Goodwill has the jar. And this was the only jar they had. And I just, I swung by there on my way, on my way down which is good because if it was on the way back up, I don't know that I would have gotten to it. So that's what we're doing tonight, this jar. And uh, so the other night I, when I was here with my mother-in-law, <laughs> I'm going to have to get her a little saucy next time. She'll be a little more outspoken that way, I think. Um, that was fun. That was fun for me. I had a great time. So I'm going to basically be doing more or less the same thing. So if you see something you like, you let me know. If there's a lot of interest or it's like a high dollar item, then maybe we'll do an auction format versus buy it now, but probably a lot of buy it now. And 
uh, there is 100% guaranteed silver in this jar because I already see it. So let's begin, shall we? Because I'm super pumped. The door to the bedroom is right behind me. So if anyone pops in, don't be alarmed. All right, this. Okay. Oh, it's a set. All right, here we go. This is the first thing right off the top. Let me know if I can, like, y'all can hear me and everything too. And let me look, my, the way I'm set up in this bedroom, my mouse is like all the way over here. So I'm just checking the chat um, live. Okay. Here's the first one. This is sterling. It's a sterling silver set. I feel like palm trees, or at least it claims to be, but I have no reason not to believe it. It's marked 925 on the back. Uh, it's on this card here that says, find sterling silver for men and women. So here we go, some silver studs. I'm going to flip them the right way. It's like a palm tree. Do you see it in the little bird and the little like wave of the water? And then we have the matching necklace here. Presumably all sterling. There we go. How cute is that? Oh, good. Thank you, Jennifer. I'm glad. I feel like the last stream, I have two different streaming programs. One is the, what is it, Open Broadcast, OBS. And uh, this is just on StreamYard. When I play back the one on OBS like I did the other night, the audio sounds really weird. Okay. So there we go. That's the whole set right there. I will definitely attempt to sell that if nobody's interested right now. That is all sterling. That's cool. All right. I don't know what I did with my... Oh, there it is right there. Okay. All righty. Next up. I'm trying to do this up high. Oh, oh, okay, cool. It's like a pinch closure. I don't see any name on it. This is just a plain old... Well, I shouldn't say plain old. It's got some pizzazz to it. Oh, there's someone walking doggies outside. Uh, price on which one, Jennifer? This bangle or the silver? Uh, it's hard. It's hard to say on the silver, man. That one's that one's pretty cool. Um, if you're talking about this, I would do. I don't know what I'd do. Let's say twelve dollars on the silver set, sight unseen, and then I don't know what to say about this one. Let's do. Uh, I don't know. Two dollars. Two dollars on the bangle. Twelve on this. Sterling. You got it, Jennifer. Let me start your tab. And also, if you guys bought for me the other night, um, I haven't sent anything out yet. I did get bags filled and have your labels on them and everything, but I did not ship them. So they're still open just in case anyone buys anything tonight so I can combine your shipping. Sterling beach scene. Beach set. Do you like palm trees? I love palm trees. I super duper like palm trees. Okay, let's see. I try to have one in my house, but I guess I don't know how to keep them alive. <laughs> I think they, hey Jenny. Aw, does Meredith like palm trees? They That comes with the chain too. I don't know how long the chain is, but you can always stick it on something else if that one's too short. All right, we got a hair barrette. I don't know what this thing, I think it's just plastic. I don't think that's anything special. I'll do a buck on that if anybody wants a hair breath. If not, I'm just gonna throw these things in a little bag. And now I oh there's bangle. Okay, cool. Jenny, Jenny, I'm not at home. God, I wish I was at home. The internet cannot so come soon enough. It's coming on the 12th, 12th of August. Ooh, this looks silver. <gasps> Jenny, don't go anywhere. <laughs> let me let me attempt to tempt you. We have we have bad eyes. I can't tell what that says on the back, but look at this cute little elephant. Isn't he darling? I did actually bring my testing kit, but I don't know if I have a spot to do that in this house. <clears throat> let me try to shine them up. <laughs> I know you like elephants, stone elephants. I don't know if you like stone or uh, elephant jewelry. Here's the thing. There's like a mark on the back of it, but I can't tell what it says. 
It almost looks like, oh, I can't even tell. Looks like, oh, no, no, I can't tell. I can't, there's no way that's gonna show, is it? Let me block my mug. There's something there, but I can't read it. Looks like S14, S-I-L, S-I-L. That's gotta be silver. I can test it for sure, Z, if anyone is interested. And, and the chain is marked uh, 925 also. Oh man, I have no comfortable way to set it. It's marked on the uh, spring ring and also on the, so there's a mark on the tab here too. So that is most likely sterling. Look how cute. Oh my gosh, how adorable is he? If anyone wants them, I'd do 10 on that. Unless you're Jenny, I'll do eight. <laughs> I got a tempter. He's probably sterling. All right, he's gonna go to the side for now. All right, here's a little stretch bracelet. Uh, his, I don't know. He's got a decent stretch. The beads are nice. I do a dollar on that. I got another bracelet here. Let's see. I'm hoping. <laughs> I'll put you down. I'll put it in your bag. And I can't look at this chair, y'all. I'm afraid I'm going to tip out of this thing. It's so bouncy. All right. I said eight, right? Where is your, I have a bag up here for you. Oh, there we are. Jenny Jim, put them in your bag. And for the record, I wrap things much nicer than just throwing them in a bag when they get shipped to you. All right, there, okay. So this one, this one looks like sterling to me too. I am convinced it might be. Let me see if I can shine it up, but look at this bangle. I know I showed it a little bit, but if it shines up, Am I bad or am I really good? Cause that elephant's cute though. Come on. Is it shining? It doesn't look like it's shining. No, it is totally shining. Shoot. I don't know where I can. If this whole thing is silver. Hold on. Hold the phone. I can't see at the shop, I would just go ahead and test this because I don't care if I spill stuff on the table there because I bought it. So I feel like I'm allowed. But here, all right, here's what I'm gonna do. Oh, good. Thank you, Jennifer. I always feel <laughs> both. That's right. Don't you forget it. Oh, man. I always feel paranoid when I ship stuff. I just like want it to get there safe. All right, this has, this is a little more coppery. You probably can't tell. It's not very silvery, though, so I don't think it's silver. Yeah, it's silver plated. Still cool, though. It's probably plated. Alrighty. Patty, hey! I was just saying, you missed my spiel, but um, I was just going to say, uh, your bag is still open. It has not been sealed, so if you buy anything, I will combine shipping. All right, here's this little guy. You got a clip on, so the pair's got to be in here somewhere. Oh, look at this. Who likes glass out there? It's like red dichroic glass swirled around in there. Actually, I don't know that that's dichroic. Made in Japan and it's stamped. Okay, now I'm like, is this actually glass? I got to find something else to, to compare it with, so I'll set that aside for now. All right, this is interesting. They're wood beads, I think. They feel really light. I don't even know on that one. Maybe they're just plastic. I'm not feeling that one. Okay, here's a whole set of bangles. So if anybody likes bangles, a buck for all four, if that's what you're into. They, um, yeah, they're not anything. They're not real metal, like precious metal. But they do have some nice designs on them. Check that out. 25 cents a piece. Wear those together. 
yeah, let me know. A buck for the Bengals. All right, <laughs> Patty's in for the Bengals. Let me get your tab started. Hot dollar. Gold. Bengals. Oh, Patty. I got to tell you something. Um, I owe you $3. That uh, Betsy Johnson one that you got yesterday uh, totally had crystals missing from the flower. There's like a flower on it. And I didn't see it until I was packing it up. So either I can refund you or I'll just give you a $3 credit tonight if that works for you. All right. Ooh. Who likes Opalite? I know someone out there does. Look, those are all opalite chips in there. And then they have these other... I can't tell what kind of stone those are. They're blue, though, and then these are glass. These look like these look like a stone, but they're more of like a tealy color, not super blue. They have a little bit of teal to it. And then these glass pieces have little swirls throughout. There's a toggle on there, too. No, Devin, I'm not at my house. I'm at my mother-in-law's again. Okay, Patty, I'll give you a $3 credit. Let me write that down too. All right, and I can get measured measure mint on this one too if anybody is interested. It's hard to tell. This lighting in here is pretty atrocious, but that is opalite. Hey, Doug. Welcome to the party. Um... Yeah, I, my husband locked his keys inside of his toolbox at the shop, so <laughs> I wasn't able to go there to, to stream tonight. These don't appear to, they just look like they're silver tone. So if anybody wants this one, $3, I'll do $3 on that. Um, this would even be a decent harvest piece. I wish you could see that opalite. Those chips are pretty cool. All right, three bucks for the opalite if anyone's interested. Speak now. Seeds, sunflowers. Birds in blooms, 2003. I don't know what that means, but that's what's on deck right now. Okay, these, these are for you, Jennifer. Thank you. After I write everything down, I won't remember these things. I had a snafu earlier. I found one straight earring. Didn't know who the heck it belonged to. And now I can't find the other one. Oh, whoops. I started. <laughs> oh, my bad. This is what happens when you're not paying attention. This. Anyone have any ideas on what that is? What's the back of it? It says 2003 on it. Oh, it's a hair stick, man. Birds and Blooms, 2003. I don't know. I don't know what that is, but uh, I'm just going to throw it in the bag for now. Actually, I might that, that might be a research project. See if that's got any value to it. All right, then we've got this. This will probably just go in a crap lot. Looks like it might be silver plated, but the plating's coming off. Look, you can see the screen. Ooh, crazy. Birds and Bloom are collector pins brooches from the Birds and Bloom magazine. Oh, so maybe it has value to it. I, that's news to me. I didn't know that one. Ooh. Hey, this kind of reminds me of that piece I found before. Uh, what on earth does that say? I should have brought my loop. I didn't do that. I can't tell what it says. Okay, well, let me show you so you all aren't, like, wondering what I'm looking at. It's, like, almost like a Tanzanite color. But it's almost assuredly glass. Let's try to look at it in better lighting. Lighting blue. Is there a way I can get this over more? That's never going to work. Okay, so on the back, it looks like there's... I can't even tell which way it freaking goes. I'm failing so hard tonight, y'all. I wish I was at the shop. It would have been a lot easier to deal with. All right, I'm going to have to look at that one through a loop. We have another pearl bracelet. Look at that clasp. That's interesting. It's a vintage class for sure. It's got that little full over class. So then is there a maker mark on it? Oh, oh yeah, look at that. 
Ooh. I think I think they're just plastic beads, so nothing crazy cool. Only kind of cool. Um, I don't know. I'll do a buck on this one if anyone's interested. They were pewter. Maybe this one probably is pewter. It looks like it. It does not specify that, but it definitely looks pewter to me. Dollar on the tri beads with the cool little finding on the back there. All right, putting it in your bag. Oh, this is what I say, a dollar? Okay. Where is that bag? I should have brought you a bigger bag, Patty. I never think to do it. I always end up getting into two. <laughs> Oh, that's very sweet. But it certainly feels like it. <laughs> Not in a bad way. It's just like this lighting is atrocious. And like my, it's just hard to work with this laptop camera. Tonight was going to be the night I was going to really try my darndest to figure out my other camera and try to see if I could get that hooked up. And, you know, not explode it in the process. <laughs> but you know, it is what it is. I'm fortunate that I have an alternate place to go to because otherwise, ooh, what are you? Otherwise, you know, I wouldn't be on at all. So that would have been a bummer. Oh, thank you, Jenny. All right, this, I can't get this thing closed. Come on. Okay, there it goes. Ooh, check out this brooch. These are nice purple, purple crystals. I don't see a maker's mark on it, though. That's what I was looking for. How pretty is that? I don't even see any crystals missing on this one. Although I say that all the time and then they're like actually all gone. <laughs> These look to be all here though. That's nice. Ooh. We were talking about this the other night about um, quality costume jewelry. This one feels nicer. Nicer end. I do $3 on this brooch if anybody's interested. Or will I wear it? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know if I can pull that off, but that one's really nice. It's like, oh, they're very purple. Like they have a very pretty purple color to it. They have a little more red. Actually, if you see that little flash coming through there on that center upper one. Yeah, there you go. That's kind of closer to the color it is. Ooh, that's nice. I like that. Oh, hey, here we got another bloom one. Birds and Blooms, 2007. This time, a little nest with some eggs. Duh. See, if I can get a little lot going, then this may be one a good one for eBay. Don't, Jennifer, do you know anything about the value on these? You want the brooch? You got it. That one's so pretty. Okay. Okay, I'm sad. The more I look at it, I'm like, oh, I could just put this in my brooch collection. My collection of brooches I don't wear. Brooch. Thank you, Jennifer. I to your, oh, that's the wrong bag. There we go. Okay. Don't know about the value. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to sneak over on eBay and check. Okay, these appear to all be glass. We have just some blue beads. They're a little bit, they have a smidge and a purple hue to them. It looks like they're all they're all seed beads in the sun and between the larger beads. This one's pretty long too. However, no clasp, but some decent beads. A buck on those if anyone's interested. Let's keep hunting. Okay, look at this. Ooh. Ooh, I like this. Okay, let me tell you why. Look at this like filigree work. Can you see the filigree work on the edge there? It is so gorgeous. I was looking kind of at a ring similar to this. They are definitely just rhinestones, but they look like they're all there. It's a little bent, which does put me off. But look, it even has stone holes. You don't see that on rhinestones very often. Usually they're just glued in. All right, let's see. Let's see how this class works. Ooh, okay. So you, you push it forward. What's oh, you pull it back? You push it forward? What's going on with this thing? Right. Oh, okay, there it goes. Oh, it's just a little tab, tension tab in there. And it locks. Oh. 
That is so cool. What are you made of? Are you silver? It doesn't, it feels a bit too lightweight to be silver, but it looks tarnished like silver. Uh, and it is stamp silver. Shut the front door. Is that actually what it says? My eyes are, it says sterling. Oh my gosh, I can't sell that. That is too cool. I'm gonna be holding on to that one for a little bit. I'm gonna polish this bad boy up a little bit and see if I can. Y'all. Oh my gosh, I wish you could see. I wish you could see this design on the side. Where's my phone? Maybe I can get a picture of it and then like hold it up super big. Hold on. I have to make this happen. You must see this filigree work on the side. Maybe this will work. Can you see this filigree work? Oh, it's so pretty. That's amazing. All right, let's put them in your bag, Patty. Thank you. And I'll let you know about that craft lot too. Patty was asking me when I'm going to sell my craft lot because I'm filling up a giant, like a medium flat rate box. Um, and I just don't know when I'm going to finish that off. Here's my question though. Like why such like just plain old rhinestones in such a fancy setting? Do you think these could possibly be something else? I don't think they're diamonds, but I'm saying like lab sapphires or something like that. It just doesn't even feel, maybe they're just glass. That is so pretty. All right, that one's going on the wrist. Bam. I don't even really like bangles, but that is so, that I would never find a piece like that again. This is my problem. I always want to keep stuff like this. Patricia, hey, how's it going? We'll see. Let's see. I did just invest in a new piece of equipment. I'll be sharing that one soon. Um, and that might be able to tell me. Okay, this is a brooch, but look, the pin doesn't even reach to the clasp. <laughs> so there's just no way to actually wear it. Uh, it has a mystery mark on there. It just looks like a big blah. blah. I can't. Even there's like no, it just looks like a slew of letters that are smeared together. Um, but here's the actual brooch. That's pretty, right? If only it functioned, that would be nice. <coughs> Reject. Okay, what else we got? I got a lot. There's a lot of rhinestones in here. This jar is big. I don't know how much I'm gonna get through tonight. All right, we've got some vintage. Uh, rhinestone necklaces here and it has the class like the vintage style one it's just a hook that hooks directly over the chain over yonder bam there you go that's pretty let's see if we've got anything missing this is what I failed to do last time was actually like check <laughs> that resulted in me having to uh Backtrack on a couple of things. These all look here that like they're here. That's pretty cool. Ooh. All right, I'll do, I don't know. 250. 250 on the rhinestone one. And then here's the second one. If I can get it unknotted up. There we go. That one's very fancy. It looks much more like, I don't know, delicate, I guess. I don't know. It's something about that one like that just drops down in the middle. The bug was after you last time. It can't be this time. I'm not in the same room. I mean, I guess it can travel to the side of the house, but hopefully not. This one has the fold over. Yeah, if anyone missed my last live stream, there was a bug trying to like bust through the window and destroy me. <laughs> I still don't know what it was. All right, so five for both of them, if anyone's interested in those. That scumbug. Was that last night or was that two nights ago? That must have been two nights ago. All right, this one is marked a WP. Perhaps someone can help me figure that one out. It's a religious piece. Look at that. Man, that thing is heavy. There's a cross inside a heart and then look, there's some more... Oh, 
I was going to say, it feels like Sterling. It's definitely Sterling, y'all. It's Mark 925. Did Elizabeth come in? Hey. Hey, hey, hey. All right, look at all these little pieces here. Okay, we've got... Whew, all right, hold on. We'll figure this out. All right, we have a C. You know what? I think I've heard of this stuff. It's like... um. I think it's supposed to be like that candle wax stamp, but it's in jewelry. Maybe not. Okay, so the C, and then there's the cross inside the heart with gold. And then there is a little stone here. It looks like uh, maybe it wants to be a ruby. So maybe maybe this was a piece for somebody that was born in uh, July. Ruby is July. So if you if you want to talk about this one, you let me know. This is sterling. Clasp is marked. Pieces are I don't know what WP is though. Does anybody know that? They're all stamped WP. <laughs> it is Devin. It is. Uh, I think they say 925. It's kind of hard to tell, but I can certainly let me do this little scratch test. I'm not gonna actually use the acid, but oh yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. So you can see that one from earlier. See how coppery it is? And then below that, that's this necklace. Yeah, right? That's pretty good. If anyone is interested in this one, I don't, I don't know. This is this is a substantial amount of silver. I know. I know it sounds high, but i probably do 18 on this. I will probably try to list that for even more on eBay if no one wants it. Okay. <clears throat> Next. Ooh. Aw. Oh. Ah, the emotional roller coaster of opening jewelry. That jar is very worth it. I hope so. I mean, we'll see. Let's see if we can get enough sales to deal with the cost of this jar. I mean, it was 65 bucks. That's definitely more on the high end for a goodwill jar that I've paid for. Oh, it's missing a stone. Bummer. Right. Yeah. Although I did get this sweet bracelet out of it. I'm going to have to do some research on that one. That one's too cool. And I got to figure out the stones, what the stones are. I'm telling you, they don't look like flashy enough to be glass. No, okay, they're glass. They've got to be glass. Sometimes, like, when light hits glass a certain way, there's, like, a rainbow, like, a spectrum you can see in the facets. Um, you just, it's one of those things you have to practice. And sometimes diamonds do that too. So, you know, you just got to know your stones. There's nothing I can say more than study your stones. Yes, they do. All right, I don't... I think these are glass. Yeah, it's hard to tell, man, because these have been sitting in my hot house. <laughs> so, you know, everything feels warm. This is a really long one. Look at this. No class. We'll do three dollar buy it now on these if anybody wants them. They're, uh, you know what? I'll do two dollars on these. They look like they have some, uh, like light. Maybe that's the way they're supposed to be. Oh, they're like cut lines. Okay, so they're not polished. They have a little bit of you can see like where it's been cut. So now I'm back to wondering if these are stones instead of glass. They have like marks in them. It's hard to, hard to, this is why I need a better camera. Devin, remind me of that camera that you suggested. Because if I can't get my own capture card to work, that may be what I have to do. Three dollars on those, if anybody wants them. Hey, hey, Stephanie. Welcome, welcome. Kristen is here. She's saying hi. I don't know why I always start singing. This is what happens when I'm left to my own devices and start singing. These are just plastic. Unimpressive. Oh, Patty, you want these ones? The black mystery beads? I'll put it on a bag. $3. Black. Thanks, y'all, so much for coming out tonight. I'll tell you, it's one of those nights. Do you ever like, especially the ladies? Have you ever like scheduled a lady date, like a ladies' night out, and the night comes up and you're just like, 
I really just want to actually put on slippers and like lay on my couch and eat ice cream. I don't feel like going out. You know what I mean? And then you end up going out. You just force yourself into it and you end up having a really good time. That's what tonight feels like. <laughs> you know, I'm like, I enjoy y'all's company. So I appreciate y'all coming on here. Seriously, I really, really do. And I'm thinking actually about, um, let's see how many people are in here, just out of curiosity. I'm thinking about doing Mondays. I was like doing Tuesdays regularly or I was starting to try to do that. I think Mondays may end up being the day. And I will tell you it's because there's other auctions I want to watch on Tuesday that happen at the same time. So, um, oh, good. I'm glad y'all can relate. <laughs> so that's where I'm at tonight. I mean, not now. Like, I'm, I'm glad that I came on. I'm glad I persevered. All right. This says Roman ink made in China. Isn't that sweet with their little daffodil pin? This is extremely light. I'm assuming it's just plastic. But it's actually really nicely done. All right, who do we have so far? Uh, Jenny, Jennifer, and Patty. First one to claim it can have it in their bag for free. If any of you want the daffodil pin, put it in the chat, right? Daffodil. I'll throw it in your bag. For freezies. All right, what else we got? Ooh, these things. We have a pair of ugly plastic. All right, Jennifer. <laughs> Well, no one wrote Daffodil, but Jennifer didn't write one want first, so I'll go ahead and put it in your bag. Uh, close enough. It's practically the same word. What are these? All right, so they're, it's swirled plastic. They're just like stud earrings. These are also really light. All right, we'll do it again. For people who have already purchased something tonight, say pink, and those will go in your bag if you want them. I think they're hideous, but you know, I mean, I should say they're not my taste. That's what it looks like. I'm wondering if it was a button. No, it's definitely not. They're like hot pink on the back. And no one's going to claim them because they agree with me. <laughs> Alrighty, let's get back to some good stuff, huh? Ooh, I know this brand. I think I had one of these on eBay, like right now they sell for about 15 to ooh, 15 to 20 dollars give or take if this is what i think it is nope what the heck is that what is c what is just a plain old c stand for ah patty wants the pinks okay i'll throw them in your bag um, in they go all right this is not what i thought it was but it's very similar if anyone knows the c i would just certainly appreciate you telling me Oh, hey, if you all purchased from me the other night and I have a bag like ready to ship, you can you can play the freebie game, too, if you want. I'll just try my best to remember. I don't know. What is the C? Oh, it's a Charming Charlie. Oh, derp. Yep. Charming Charlie. I don't know how much these things go for. I'm going to throw a $5 price tag on it right now, though. I don't know if that's a lot or a little, though. So if I'm like super overcharging this one, you tell me. And if I'm not and you want it for $5, you can tell me that too. There you go. Charming Charlie. Y'all know I talk to the screen like you can hear me right. <laughs> I did not know that. But that makes me happy. Do you talk, like type the response too? Because I need to know what you say. I'm dying to know what the heck this thing says. Otis. No. You guys, I don't know why, like, <laughs> like, I couldn't read this, you know, 10 minutes ago. It says Sterling. It says Otis Sterling. All right, let's do the, the scratch test. Did you hear that? Otis is looking pretty darn Sterling-y also. I've never heard of that brand, but dang. Dang, that is exciting. That's going to be a research piece. Oh, Teresa, you want what? This one's Charming Charlie, $5? I'll put them in your bag, and you're eligible for the freebie game. Teresa. 
I'm gonna make sure I put B so I know because there's another Teresa. Teresa B, five dollar charming trophy. Maybe I won't say that you can, you know, maybe you do have to buy something tonight <laughs> to play the freebie game. Maybe it'll encourage some sales. I don't know. All right, let's see. What else we got in here? So now everyone's going to be rooting for, like, junk so that we can play the freebie game. Ooh. I think I'm going to have to research these ones. Made in Austria. You know what that means. Those are crystals, baby. Crystals. Probably not Swarovski, but um, nevertheless, you can't go wrong with Austrian crystals. Those are stunning. I'm going to have to research those. Oh, wait. But first, I'm going to have to do this. Hello, YouTube. Buy my jewelry. Okay. That will go in the research pile. Oh, this is pretty, too. What are you? I hope I don't annoy my in-laws. <laughs> yes. This is Papa Dave. That's my father-in-law, one of two. Oh, thank you. He just brought me Diet Coke. <laughs> well, it's so fun being over here. They feed me and give me, give me glasses of Diet Coke with ice in them. He's a sweet dude. All right, this is really pretty. It's a screw back clip on earring. But I have to find them. I have to find his friend. But look, it's really in good shape. It it doesn't look like it's silver to me though. I don't see any markings on it. It's like way too shiny. Plated with something else. He is Jennifer. He's like he's extremely a very sweet man. Oh, no, not Top Chat. Teresa, you'll have no chance of the freebie game if you play Top Chat. Everybody go to uh, live chat so you can participate. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. I thought it was all stuck together accidentally, but it's not. Look. Is that not beautiful? I love swirls, so this super speaks to me. And it has the matching earrings. Sadly, they're clip-ons, but not as sad. They're screwbacks. That is too cool. Oh, and there's marking. It says, y'all would think I would learn by now to bring my dang on loop with me. Ugh. Does this look familiar to anybody? I can't read the dang thing. I just can't do it. It might end with an A. <laughs> That's super helpful, right? I swear I had a brooch that was similar to this, too. Oh, look, it's a little bigger there. Okay, Rem... Remens? R-E-M-E-N-T-Z. At least there's a name brand on it. I don't know that one, but uh, they make really cool-looking jewelry. Anyone knows about that one? I'm going to research that one. I know, right? Oh, is this another bird one? No, it's not. Okay, we have Lucky Clover, which is stuck. Oh, okay, the brooch came free. All right, here we go. Oh, these? Oh, they're glass. That is bizarre. Look at that. It almost looks like, like it's indented in that where the black holes are, but it's not. It's like smoothed out. That is very, very weird and interesting. I dig it. Lucky Clover. I've never heard of that one either. But it's got the original tag on it. Oh, it's Murano. Shut the front door. Authentic Murano glass collection. So is it, I mean, I guess that is actually Murano glass, isn't it? Because it would say made in Murano if it wasn't actually Murano glass. Something like that. That is bizarre and really funky, and I'm going to try to sell that one on eBay. Ooh. Kremens is nice vintage jewelry. Hey, if you want to name a price, nah, I think I'm going to research it. Yeah. All right, this is cool. This this jar this jar is very, being very nice to me. I dig it. 
I know. Do you collect it, Stephanie? He seemed very excited. Look at all the filigree work on this. Unfortunately, it's a bit like gross. <laughs> like it just look at the back. You can see. See, it kind of looks a little funky. Um, the crystals. Actually, it looks like there's been a repair done. One of these shapes is not like the others. One of these shapes just doesn't belong. What's that? No. Yeah. It's pretty, though. I like all that work on it. Ooh, ooh, oh, oh, that was a slippery one. Oh, okay, this. Yes. I have reason to believe that this is a big old honking piece of amethyst. But I don't know for sure. Um, but it's certainly... Oh, my God. That is beautiful. Can you see the faceting on this? That is so pretty. It's marked 925. I have no doubts in my mind that it is actually silver. There, I love this stone. Oh my gosh, look at the way it's cut. Can you tell? Let me block out my mug again. The faceting in this is just absolutely stunning. I mean, it, it scratches silver for sure. I'll have to test it for, for realsies though but it doesn't have that rainbow spectrum in it. Like I was telling you earlier, that glass often does. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I really like this one. I'm not totally like sold on the setting though. In fact, when I saw this, I thought it was a ring and I was like, I need this in my life. This, I mean, to be honest, I would have bought the jar regardless, but this was one of the ones that I was like, you, you my friend must come home with me. All right, who's ready for freebie game? I don't know if any of you all will be into this, but here we go. It's a mother of pearl pin that says mother on it. Mother is your claim word for your freebie. At least I think it's real mother of pearl. It looks like it. It's got that iridescence to it. But anywho, that's pretty cool. Remember to play freebie game. You have to have purchased something recently so I can ship it off with your other stuff. All right, Patty wants it. You got it. Where's your bag? All right, this is the other thing that caught my eye. I'm not as enthused on closer inspection. It seemed nice, but it's just a plain old gold chain, but it's got this little triangle down there at the bottom. And let me just look at it a little closer. Yeah, I don't think it's anything special. I was hopeful because this chain actually looks really nice. It looks like a nice gold Rolo. Uh, but the pendant doesn't. It feels kind of cheap and gross. Let me see if I can clean it off. Ha. That was so graceful. I can't believe I just pulled that off. Yeah. Yeah. Meh. Dollar. If anybody wants the triangle on chain. Or I'll just throw it in my little bag of... Wait, I don't even know if I can... I'm going to just throw this in the craft lot because it's... No, it is cleaning up. Okay, I lied. Or is it? Is it cleaning? Is it not? Moonstone Mama, what is it that you wanted? <laughs> Devin, did you purchase anything for me recently? I guess I could just hold on to it. Since you're such a loyal customer. I'll do that for you. All right, I can't even, I can't. It does have some wear on it. So you have been told a dollar. If not, it's going in the lot. I'll set this up for a second. All right, no one wanted these rhinestone things. Let me throw that in there too. Okay. But uh, Devin, you're gonna have to be a little more specific. <laughs> oh my gosh, look how long this is. Dang, I think it's long. Oh yeah, Patty definitely cleaned that one quick. She's she's on the money, man. She doesn't mess around. This is uh, glass, super long. It's like a darker silver tone. The wire in between the beads does look like it has some like discoloration to it. Like the silver has come off and it's more of a copper color underneath. But dang, that thing is long. Sitting down, this thing is a. A CT, if you know what I'm talking about. It, uh, I don't know. I'll do three bucks on this one if anyone's interested. 
$2 on the long tickler. Okay. Does anybody like horseshoes? And a brand I can't read. Almost looks like it says Capri, but I can't tell. Look how big that thing is. It's a giant pin. This thing is gold tone. Oh, there we can get some good flash on it. Uh, I can't read the brand though. Gaff? Graf? Car? <laughs> I'm so bad at this game. Uh, ask in the chat. Someone will tell you. Someone tell Stephanie what a CT is. T being tickler. What is that? Can you see? Can you see the name brand there? No, probably not. I think it says car. Sar. Bar. Cap. Who even knows? But if you're interested, let me know. <laughs> Thank you, Patty. All right, we've got another rhinestone one. It's another rhinestone choker. Does it fit there? Probably not me. Oh, I guess it kind of does. So I would approximate that this is 16 to 17 inches. Um, and it matches the other ones in our group of rhinestones. Again, I'll do 250 on that if anyone wants that. It's 750 for the lot of three so far. Oh, look at this. It's Virginia's state flower, y'all. The dogwood. If you didn't know, this thing is heavy. I don't know what this is made of, but it is heavy. Let me scratch it. Scratchy, scratchy. Everything looks silver to me now. I'm gonna have to test this one because it feels like it feels like silver, but maybe it's just silver plated. Wait. Yeah, I don't know. Dogwood. Dogwood flower. All right, we've got another floral. Someone is really into their pewter floral pins. There's another one. A C clasp on the side there. You can see it against my big old head. Is it? Why do they have the same state flower? And why does that upset me so much? I feel like they need to, everyone should be like unique with their flowers, right? There's so many to choose from. Why would that, and they're neighbors. <laughs> I'm clearly offended by this fact. What's your bird then? What's the state bird? Ours is the cardinal. Okay. Uh, interesting. This thing, this is a fun one. Sound wise, those are all uh, shell beads in there. Like mother of pearl shell. That's kind of cool. I guess it's a necklace, right? It feels kind of gross, but it looks really cool. <laughs> huh. All right, I'll do three on this one if anybody wants it. Oh, there's a string. There's a string stuck on it. Three dollars for the musical shell necklace. String not included, but I'll throw it in if you want it. That could be the next free one. If anybody wants it, string. The blue rhinestones. Blue rhinestones? Hold the phone. Does it appear blue on camera? Is this what you're talking about? They're clear. They're not blue. My camera just sucks. Shut up, Jennifer. Do you really? Now I'm like questioning my entire existence. Is this the one you wanted, Patty? They're clear. And then there's three of them. Did you want all these? Here's the other one. It's a little, I've got a little twisted around, but there's a third one. $7.50 for all three if you want them. Okay, did you want just one or all three? Let me know. I'll set them to the side while I dig out this. Cameo. <laughs> it only took me like an hour to get there. Hey, can I position this so it looks like it's my head? It doesn't quite align right, does it? Kind of, sort of. Just the last one, okay. Ooh. Will do, thank you. <clears throat> Let's 
250. Make sure I put it in the right bag. The cameo has got a marking on it too. It says, oh, I have it upside down. Jerry's? Jerry sounds like a hole in the wall bar. It doesn't sound like a like a company that would make this. But there you have it. It's a cameo. It is pretty. I might have to keep this one and uh, do something cool with it because I actually don't own any cameos and I admire them so much and I really like the blue ones. This just feels plastic. Though. I don't think there's anything special, but I'm going to hang on to it for now. All right, we've got a memory wire bracelet. Ooh. Oh, hey, and the match to that other earring. Here we go. Crystals are all there. Ooh, and, oh, it's a Koro. What do you know? It's hard to see, but it's uh, back there on the back of the actual screw. Uh, I'll do $4 on these Koros if anybody wants these. Matching set of Koro screw back earrings in a shiny silver tone with crystals. Koro is your word, $4 for Koros if you want those. My mom wants the cami. Oh yeah, I'm gonna hang on to it for now, Patricia. And it's just plastic, it's nothing special anyway. I mean, it's pretty, so that makes it special. Patricia, you want the Koros? You got it. Let me get your bag out. And you are now eligible for the freebie game. Uh, uh -huh. Woo! See what I mean about this chair? Four dollar coros. Um, and in case you need to know, the freebie game is just like buy it now, except you don't actually pay for anything. All right, here we go. This is a memory wire bracelet. It just has some black beads on it. Ooh, it's a little twisty. They're glass. Um, this thing is a little tangled though. Let's see if I can detangle it before I showcase it on my arm. Do y'all wear these? Like I always wonder, cause I've never actually, I guess I used to have one like back in the day, but not recently. I really just, I'm not big on like bangles or anything that remotely resembles them. You're welcome, Patricia, anytime. Anytime. All right, I can't even get this around my wrist. All right, you know what? Freebie round. Memory. Memory is your claim word if you want the memory wire bracelet. All right. Memory. Memory. You don't have to spell right on there. All right, here we have another crystal earring. This is a uh, clip on. We'll wait and see if his friend shows up to the party. What is this? Okay, it's ceramic. Interesting. Again with the black beads. And then the ceramic flower, it's painted. Look at the back, you can tell it was like created on a mat. It looks like perhaps this one petal broke off at one point and someone glued it back on. All right, you got it, Patty. Um, but that is very interesting. The necklace is actually nice. And look at this toggle. It's a nice little finding on it. That's cool. Let me see if there's, I don't see anything. I'll do two bucks on this if anyone's interested. Otherwise we will move along. Ooh, what are you? Where are my stone girls at? I need your help. What is this? Is that a serpentine? What is this green? It's not quite as bright as it appears on the screen, but it is definitely green. And it is definitely stone. This is stone up here too. What, what are you? What is that? There's like a glow to it. What is going on with this? Oh, Patricia, you wanted it? Okay, let me add it to your bag. 
Oh, someone, someone's messaging me that they like my elderberries. I sold a bunch of elderberries. Um, ah, couldn't find my pen. Black and white necklace. Thank you, Patricia. Thank you. I'll put it in your bag. As soon as I can find it. It's Jenny's. That's Teresa's. There we go. Okay. It is a zebra flower. It does look like a zebra flower. <laughs> Which should be your, your new state flower. I ain't changing mine. I'm too old for that. <laughs> All right. Look. You can't tell. Oh, my gosh. These have, like... Look, yeah, yeah, yeah. What is that? Why is it black with that spot? What kind of stone could that possibly be? It's not an AB finish. It's like internal. I mean, maybe it's like a Labradorite. I don't know. Does this help at all? Probably not. What is this mystery stone? This is frigging cool. I don't know what it is, but I'm really super digging it. I mean, down here, what is this? This is so weird. Maybe it's just a ceramic and I'm insane. No, that's different. That's different. That's different. Okay, so we have these beads down here that kind of resemble snowflake obsidian, but it could just be a ceramic one. They just look black on the screen. I'm sorry about that. Ha! You see? You see the speckles? But then these are like, what is that? Which, uh, yes, <laughs> I have many tattoos. There's one. And then on my arms, I have um, writing. That's uh, my mom's handwriting. That's my dad's. But back to this. What is this? Okay, so I don't know what this is, but this is darn cool. I think it's just a silver tone clasp. This is, this is really neat. I would do $8 on this. Uh, if I research it and put it on eBay, I would definitely go higher because I don't know what the heck this stone is, but it's it's cool. I need to know. Maybe it's just glass and I'm just an idiot, but that is definitely stone, though. Look at the findings, too, the little bead caps. Can you tell? It's got, like, little swirlies on it. Someone put some real thought into making this. That's cool. <clears throat> Zoisite? I guess it could be. But I don't see any any pink. Doesn't Zoisite have pink in it too? I don't know. I don't know. Let me set that one aside for now. That may might be one that I identify and makes a reappearance on Devin's show. <laughs> All right, here's another memory wire one. All right, here we go. Freebie round. Uh Claim word. Bead. Make it very easy. Claim word is bead if you want this freebie. Freebie. All right, well, y'all are figuring that one out. Oh, this one's busted. I'll put that on a crap lot. Looks like it could have been a nice vintage piece. Which so looks really nice. Look at that. Look at that stone. That looks, that's really nice. I mean, it's bright. Those are really bright crystals. I wish I knew what the. All right, on my screen, Patty's got it. Patty, you're going to clean up tonight. I don't know. This looks really, really, this is like way nicer than any rhinestone I've seen. This main one. I don't know. I guess I'll just throw it in the craft lot on the account of the rest of it is busted. And the metal doesn't feel that nice. It feels kind of chintzy. But it's cool. Alrighty. Oh. Seriously? There's a metal in here. I've never seen that before. Usually those are things that like people hang on to. Trying to see what it says. I think it's, uh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, this is in the national. I can't read it. Do you all read it? Or know what this is just from knowing? Like, should I recognize this right away? 
I know, that's interesting. My um, father-in-law was uh, in the military, so I might go bring that to him. See if he knows. All right, we've got... Ooh, this is cool. Got some funkies on the back. I could clean that off really quick. Hold up. Preview. It's got how light on it. I know some of y'all are into that. I'm not big on how light. <clears throat> Do they? I've never sold anything military. All right. This has shell. Blue dyed shell and some how light. Dyed how light and some glass seed beads. Silver tone clasp. No tag. I'll do buy it now $4 on this only because it's got the real the halite stones in there. There's one here, one here. So it's like offset. And then it's got this big old metallic doodad at the bottom. There's a smidge of um, copper coming through on the back edge right here. Uh, and on the other side. Some wear on the back, but the front looks good. Look how shiny that is. That thing is super duper shiny. It reminds me a bit of a sand dollar. What are you? I guess there's a... I can't tell if this is plastic or glass. There's another bead on there, too. Oh, it's got some halite chips to it. I didn't even see those. All right, cool. $4 on that one if anyone wants it. Next. Uh, all right. Some black flower thing kind of glued in there. I guess it's a locket. What is the inside of it? The outside has some really nice, um, like, texture on it. But I do not like this thing in the middle. This would be a good crafty piece. Freebie locket. Locket's your claim word if anybody wants this. I think this would be a nice one to remove whatever is happening in the center there put in a nicer stone now like maybe i should do this oh there's a deer outside oh it's a buck there's a buck outside in the road sitting there eating grass like he owns the place patty if you do something cool with that i want to see it well you got it thank you all right we've got some alex and ani bracelets that's pretty darn cool. This Goodwill has not failed me so far. Granted, this is my second jar. And it's still early to make a claim like that, but... Alright, I can't get that off. We'll come back to that. Alright, we have this one. It says... I don't know. It's got a recycling tag on it and some other random stuff. It's one of those uh, positive energy things. Oh, there's an American flag, like, heart-shaped... American flag. Where'd it go? Nope, that's not it. There it is. Huh, do you see? Ha! Kind of. There. Alex and Ollie Bengal. I have no idea how much these things go for. I, like, never priced one out. Uh, we'll do three per bangle. Three dollars if anyone wants Alex and Ani. You let me know. As well, he might need a little thorough cleaning. If you claim him now, that's on you. Here's another one very similar, except that this one has a little crystal charm on it. So that puts it up to six for those two. And here's another one. Alex and Ani, it says... Uh, union bond directory oh direction 2016 oh and it has a, that one's cool all right so nine bucks for all three of them if y'all are interested look at this little arrow design that's pretty neat do you collect these jenny some people collect these bangle especially these this brand like the best I can do on that with this lighting in here. Hopefully you can see those. 
Mm, this one's really neat though. I just feel it's like a teal color and there's like a, the coppery kind of details in there with the arrows. <clears throat> Let me blind myself a little bit and see if that helps any. Nope. Ah, there you go. Kind of, sort of. See? Okay, there. That kind of, sort of works. All right, let's see what else I can do. I can't drain my battery, so my battery's really low. <laughs> All right, nine bucks for the lot if anyone's interested in those. Moving right along. Oh, here's something, another bangle. It's not Alex and Ani, though. This one just has a shell on it. I'll do a buck on that if anyone's interested. Um, this would be a good repurposing one, too. You just slide that up, slide that up. That'd be nice to do. Actually, you know what? I might, I actually might keep this. I'm going to keep this. I lied. A dollar for no one. No one at all. All right, let me see if I'm missing anything in the chat. Jennifer, you want the Alex and Ani one? Oh. Or is that for the, the one that I've just claimed? I can't tell. And then now it doesn't show retracted, but it does in the live chat. So you let me know. All right, we have another stray earring. Oh, how freaking cute is this? Uh, Jenny. Jenny. Does your daughter like Tinkerbell? You let me know. <laughs> My Coke. <laughs> I can't help you there. But if you yourself have a soda hidden somewhere, you too can partake. All right, Jenny, you let me know if, you're, if your daughter likes Tinkerbell. I'm going to just throw this in your bag. I'm giving Jenny first dibs for her daughter. But how cute is this? She's even got the little wand and the little enamel flowers. How adorable. I'm seeing if it has like a Disney marking or anything. It surely does right on the back. Right there at the top. It says Disney. <laughs> oh my gosh. Jenny, if you want this, I'm going to put it in your bag for your daughter. And if you steal it from her, I'll know. I'm throwing it in there. Okay. You tell me if I'm out of line on that one. Ooh, Napier, Napier. Whoa. I might, we might, I don't know though. Does anybody do costume? Look at that. That thing is fabulous. O-M-G. This thing is too darn cool. I think I might have to open bid on this one. This thing is in excellent condition. There's no chips. It looks ultra shiny. And look at that thing in the middle. All the crystals are there, too. Oh, my gosh. All right. We're going to do it. Let's do a bid. All right. Napier brooch. Starting bid. We're going to do starting bid $4 on this one, which is extremely cheap, in my opinion, although I've never looked this up. Maybe I'm full of lies. But dang, look at that. So cool. And if no one wants it, I'm going to keep it and put it in my, my brooch stash. My brooch stash. My brooches I don't wear. I'm going to have to do, like, make a picture out of them or something. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I just love my brooches. <laughs> you know, I don't wear them. All right. Teresa's in first at four. Uh, I'll do um, 50 cent increments if y'all want to. Or just feel free to throw an extra dollar out there just to make things go a little quicker. That'd be cool, too. Look at that thing in the middle. It's not a cat's eye. It's just like ultra reflective. I can't even tell you how cool that is. All right, and the Napier stamp is down there at the bottom. Ha, there you go. That's the best I can do. That is too darn neat. I really like this piece. I mean, it is flawless. The person who had this like didn't even wear it. That's cool. All right. Back to here. 
you do wear them. What do you wear them on? Because I wear so many hoodies that I don't have any collars to put brooches on. I have a bag. All right, Jennifer's at five. Teresa's at six. Jennifer's out. If there's no other interest, I will start calling it to Teresa. And then be sad when I put it in her bag. But for, you know, happy reasons. Because if you love something, you have to let it go. on your blouse I guess I'm just not fancy enough because I just wear like Walmart t-shirts and sweatshirts <laughs> oh hey is this plat is this glass okay so this is in fact glass we'll look at that again in a second Alrighty, I'm just gonna say sold I don't need to give a countdown do I I guess I should going once going twice Jean jacket. Are we in the 90s, Jenny? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know a jean jacket, though. Or do I? I don't think it fits anymore. I had a denim jacket, but it was brown. It was not made out of, I mean, it's not a, a blue denim. It's like a brown denim. All right, that one's going in your bag, Teresa. Thank you so much. I hope you love it as much as I do. <clears throat> That thing is very, very, very pretty. All right, here, I'm just giving you an update. Look how much of this jar we've gone through. Good grief, I didn't think we'd be able to get through it, but looks like we might. Now oh, there's like a, there's a whole scene going outside. So tonight, instead of bugs attacking the window, I have a deer across the street. There's a cat in the yard, hopping a fence. There was some squirrels like hiding from a dog walking by. It's suburban nature watching. Whoa, check out how long this thing is. These are glass beads. Looks like it might have some crystal quartz chips, although they may just be glass chips. So don't quote me on the crystal quartz thing. But dang, that's long. These are green and these are orange. Mmm, are they glass? These might just be plastic. I might be full of lies. Hold on. All right. The orange are definitely glass. The clear are definitely glass or quartz. I think the green are plastic. And then there's beads all along the center there. I do $3 on this one. This thing's long too. It's like a belly button tickler on this one. You know, honestly, if I could if I could sport a denim jacket, I'd probably wear it. I just like feel so boxy as it is that things with like too much structure just make me feel like exponentially larger. Oh, I do love embroidery though. I do love embroidery on a jacket. Ooh, what are you? Oh wait, okay. Well, look, this is really pretty. All right, if y'all like dichroic glass, stay tuned. We're coming back to this one because I, I didn't know for sure if it was glass or not, but now I'm certain it is. This is it. It looks like it's got a sparkly swirl in there. It's dark red swirled with a, almost like a rose gold or a copper tone in there. Uh, the band is nothing to write home about, but this pendant is pretty neat. I'd do two dollars on the glass pendant, and then while we're talking about glass pendants, look at this. Look at all these. Look at all the sparkle on that one. That is cool. Oh my gosh! Is this this whole thing is the necklace? Hold the phone. Oh, it's multiple strands. Whoa! I have never seen a clasp like that before. Look at that. Look at like hooks sideways. Like it, that is really weird, but really neat. All right, let's see if this thing actually works. All right, so here's the class. So it just hooks around, I guess like any other shepherd's hook class. I've never seen a finding like that before. That is really unique. Three strands and that this pendant is just too cool. That is really cool. I would do $5 on this one. 
uh, because it's friggin' cool. All right, Teresa, if y'all want stuff, you'll have to tell me a little description. Hey, Deb, welcome. Did you want the this one? $2 or $5? Glass, you let me know. It was sterling. Let me see if this one's marked. I don't see any markings on it. Let me scratch it really quick and see if I can figure it out. It's not, I mean, it's scratching the color silver, but it feels a little too tough to be silver, if you know what I mean. It's shining up, though. I don't know. I don't know, and I can't, I'm afraid to get the acid testing kit out in here. There is, it looks like there's a little, the fishing wire is, uh, needs to be trimmed on either side, but very cool. I mean, this is glass too, Teresa, not to tempt you or nothing, but five bucks on this piece. Two on this. I think you wanted this one, though, so I'll put that in your bag. Very cool. All right. Thank you. Uh, okay. Oh my gosh, you guys. No, this is not what I think it is. Oh my gosh. I might have tears in my eyes. This is a big old friggin' liquid silver necklace, possibly with turquoise beads on it. Please stand by. The last three. Oh my gosh, what was the third one? All right, so you wanted this one too, and then what was the what was the one before that? You'll have to remind me. Oh, this one. I don't even remember what price I said. All right, five, and I don't remember what I said on this. <laughs> so remind me what I told you, and don't lie. It's recorded. Uh, multi. What is this? Three stand. Mm. Long bead necklace that I don't remember. Okay, throw that in there. Okay, whatever, we'll say three. I don't remember either. <sighs> My head is going to implode right now. Oh my gosh, it's definitely liquid silver. No. Wait, is it? Hold on. It doesn't say sterling. It doesn't say that it is. All right, maybe it's not. I might actually have to get the acid out. I can't not know and leave y'all hanging like that. Holy crap. It's, this thing is, it's braided up. It definitely needs some detangling. All right, let me scratch you scratch and see what happens. Because usually on these ones, the ones I've come across, it has the sun design. This one's got it, but you can't really see it. It's like a little sun, like a half sun with rays coming out of it. And then it's a sterling underneath. This one's got the sun. It does not say sterling. Well, let's see what happens. I don't have, I don't have a paper towel though. I don't have anything to wipe it up with afterwards. All right, so y'all, y'all are just gonna have to, just gonna have to believe me when I give you an answer. Test it anyways, I'm, I'm going to. And then I'm gonna lose my mind if it is. Not that it's like the greatest, you know, score ever, but it's pretty darn good. Is gonna kill me if I get anything wrong. Right. All right, here we go. Here we go. It's freaking blue. <laughs> My friends, we've just found liquid silver. 
possibly with turquoise. I can't confirm for sure, but that's generally what goes on these things. All right, let me go to the test. I can't freaking tell. Like, look how tiny those beads are. They could just be plastic, for all I know. But uh, this is definitely testing silver. Oh my gosh. All right. All right, so tell me, do we want to bid on this? Or, or what? Should I do a bite now? Because it ain't going to be cheap. Oh my gosh, look how long this one is, too. Look how long that longest strand is. That's pretty darn long. Now I want to go back and like test everything else I scratched. <laughs> Yay! Screw it. I'm going to throw it in an auction. Just see if I'm going to start high though. Don't yell at me, computer. I'm starting at 22. I can measure it too while I'm. Uh, Waiting to see if there's any bites on that one. Well, but then I'll tell you how many strands there are too, because there's got to be at least at least seven here, if not more. Y'all might help me reach my jar goal real quick if you get this one. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten strands. Let me test the bead too, just to be on the safe side. Don't tell my mom. Speak a bit quietly. All right, here we go. Let me test the beads. Because it's not real liquid silver if the beads aren't silver, too. <clears throat> Let's see. Dang it, what did I do? Okay, there it is. Hold on. Wrong, wrong thing. Yeah, don't tell Gigi. All right, yeah, it's definitely liquid silver. <laughs> it's testing through and through. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. That's a score. All right, so if anyone wants it, 22 is the starting bid on that. Possibly the only bid, because no one's biting on that, but that's okay, because I can get more off eBay. Oh, Elizabeth is in for 22. That's a good price, girl. 10 strand. Oh, 23. All right. Let's see what happens here. 24, yes. Yeah, do, do, your, do your comps, y'all. Ain't no shame in that comp game. I can't I can't confirm what the beads on there is. I've never seen this though. I've I've gotten three different um sterling necklaces before. Um liquid silver, liquid sterling, whatever you want to call it. This is my third one. I've never found one with the beads on it. Uh the color is not uniform, which makes me feel like it's not a synthetic material. Also, this one, I just can't confirm, you know? And our stone expert is in-house right now. You can tell, tell them. See, the, there's like, uh, it's not lines like a halite. It's got some different colors on that one. Like a matrix thing would be more so. That sentence didn't sound right, but hopefully you know what I mean. <laughs> so, I, I mean, like, that would be my best guess, but I honestly... I can't really tell. And also, you're going to have to uh, deal with this, trying to detangle it when you get it. Um, because that's that's the most annoying part about this stuff. Once you get it strained out, man, it's pretty. It's so pretty. All right, Teresa's at 25. That's the last thing I see on my screen. Elizabeth is out. Was there anybody else uh, bidding on it? Let me go see. Oh, inside the bead. Good call. It, I mean, it looks the same color all the way through. I'm only, this one, you can't, maybe you can see, has a teeny tiny chip on the end of it. You're not going to be able to tell. It's so small, but it's the same color in there. 
That would be my guess. Best guess. All right. I'm going to start calling it. Going once. 25 bucks is still a score on that. Thank you so much. All right. Going three times. So to Teresa. 25 bucks. Thank you. Thanks so much. I'm so glad I brought the acid testing kit with me now. And I'll try to like detangle it to a degree. Um, let me, let me find your bag. There it is. Okay. Nice. Congrats. Congrats for sure. Oh, did you? For 25. Okay, cool. Where'd you find it, Patricia? Good, then that price is comparable. Did you get it off eBay? They're hard to find. The ones with the, at least I haven't seen them. I don't know. All right, this one is also, I already have this one. I can't tell what it says on it, though. I can't tell. Some I've got a pair of these, if anyone's interested. Oh, a surprise box. Oh, cool. Well, you cannot beat that. Hmm. All right, this one. Huh. All right, let me show you. Let me show you what I'm hemming and hawing at over here. Or let me throw it away. This almost looks like silver and gold to me. It's dented, though, which actually makes me feel more <laughs> like it could be silver and gold. Let me polish it and see what happens. All right. We got our tarnished mystery metal. We got our polishing cloth. Oh, man, look. It's like super... Okay. Okay, so the reason I'm thinking that this is precious metal is because it's hollow and dented. So it means it's really, really soft. Also, the post appears to be gold. Or does it? Maybe I'm full of lies. Dang it, there's a freaking writing on it. I can't read. Arr, why? Why do I never bring my loop with me? I can't read the dang thing. All right, I'm going to set these aside, or that aside. I can't say these because I don't have much. Patty, which one do you want? The earrings? These things? Actually, are these? They feel stone or glass. I don't know what they are. You said that quick like you recognize something I don't. <laughs> Hold on. You know what? Let me get this thing back up. Arr, I'm so frustrated. I can't read any of these things. Like, I can see the letters clearly. They're just so dank small. I can't tell what it says. If you know what I mean. All right. I think I'm getting somewhere. Stir... I'm awesome at this. It almost looks like it's a sterling, but it's definitely not sterling colored. I mean, it looks brass. I don't know. I'm sorry, Patty. If you want these, I don't think I can sell them. I gotta look at them. I gotta figure out what they are. Oh, okay. I'm gonna look into those ones. All right, and then I have these. Freebie round, pearls, plain word is pearl. I think they're just plastic, or are they? Plastic or glass, but they're definitely faux pearls. Clip on backs. If you want them, you let me know. Oh, the phone camera. Ooh, good call. Good call. Let me see if I can do that. I always forget that one. That's a good trick. All right, let's see. Use the phone. The other problem is the stupid lighting in this room. 
No offense to Jeej, but this wedding sucks. And I don't know if I'm going to... Yeah, no, that didn't really help. It's too, it's too blurry close up. I need, like, the lighting and the phone in combination. You know what I'm saying? All right, Patty, you got it. Uh, if I can find a bag, that is great. Shoot, did I throw in the wrong bag? No, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> All right, we've got a crystal one. Let's see, are they vintage? Eh, debatable. And there's a little string here. I'll do $2 on these. These would be good salvage crystals. They're glass. Crystal glass, I presume. All faceted. Look at that big one in the middle. That's cool. Two bucks on the crystals. Be sure if you want to claim anything or ask price on something I don't give you a price on to do like a little mini description so I know which one you're talking about. Uh, okay. Let me put away some of these rejects here. Ooh, that comes out. Um... This looked like silver to me at a glance, but I really don't know. Penelope, originally twenty ninety nine. Uh, it says Italy. Nine two five Italy, y'all. Check it out. We got some sterling with some beads. Let's see how many beads we got. One, two, four. We got nine beads on there. If anyone has any significance of nines, this would be a good one. That is pretty. Just a nice little solid snake chain. And all those, all those beads. I'll do 12 on this if anyone is interested in the Sterling Penelope beads. Tag still attached that someone tried to cross out the price of $20.99. 16 inches. There you go. It says right there. I wonder how old this is. I mean, there's no website on the tag or anything, so I don't know. These might be older. Two. Want. Two? Oh, the $2 crystal one. Okay. You got it. Thank you. All right, so 12 on this one. Hi, Gail. I've been thinking about you. I hope you and your hubby are doing okay. All right, so 16 inches, $12 for the sterling in beads, if anyone wants it. All right, this I saw outside the jar, and I'm dying to look at it because it looks like a bike chain at a glance. No, look at that. Oh, what is this called? Oh, something with an R, Rocio or something like that something where it's like pins that hold in all the joints that is so darn cool it's got a lobster claw clasp on it i swear it's a 95 from outside the bag but maybe i'm just wrong and crazy does that make me crazy? yeah it's on the clasp okay there's 925 on the little tab of the clasp wow it feels really really like smooth. If you guys ever had smooth metal beads against your skin, this is definitely it. It was a great length too. Look at that. That is cool. Oh, good. I'm glad to hear it, Gail. I am. That makes me happy. Look at all that silver. All right. Well, dang, that is neat. Okay. There it is all the way from the side. Let me show you. You know, I like things in threes. That's pretty cool. That's real, that's a lot of silver too. I don't know, I'll do 15 on this if anyone is interested. 15 on the bracelet. And I can measure it too if there's any genuine interest. I'll be happy to do that for you. Let me get my soda. Hope I don't burp. And I was so, I told, I told David, this is like, Classic grandma glassware <laughs> or like grandfather and grandmother put like stitched patch inside of these plastic cups. Does anybody like this is like stuff I remember from my childhood anyway. <clears throat> okay. 
We got turquoise in here, y'all. Please stand by. Let me do this. Okay, it's only 839. Dang. Oh, you want the stolen one, Gail? You got it. This one? Oh, the necklace. This one. This one is super cool. I actually found a 14 karat gold necklace that was similar to this. It only had three balls on it. That, of course, because it has threes, I kept it. It's not exactly my taste, but I don't care. You got it, Gail. Smaller sterling beads. Okay. Let me get, I don't know if I have a bag for you. Ooh, the bone. If I don't, I'll just make one real quick. We'll give you this one. Let me cross the name off of here. Super deep and quick. Oh, y'all, I had to show you something too. <laughs> I forgot to show you this. I can't believe this. Anyone who was in the chat the other night, this bag, it, it holds all of my... The jewelry that people buy, I put it in Ziploc bags and I put it in this bag to process. But it's it's a Betsy Johnson. I can't believe I didn't show you that last night. Love this. All right. Gail's name on here. Oh. Bam. Okay. And in the bag it goes. I have to know, Gail, does the nine, do the nine beads have any symbolism for you? Like a date or something like that? Okay. All right. Let's do it. Look at these turquoise beads. Look at those. They're huge. Oh my gosh. Is there anyone out there that likes turquoise? Because you're in luck today. It looks like sterling. Maybe it's not. I can't get taped by you. But I'm going to test it. Look how massive and the graduated beads. That is too cool. Look, there's a there's a tag left on it. <laughs> someone cut it off. Someone tried to sell it. Or did sell it. And never took the tag off. Alright, let's see. Oh, probably not sterling on the beads. Okay. Let me check the clasp too. Alrighty, I'm checking. Isn't it pretty? Guys, this is freaking sterling. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna wake up. Hopefully, my father in law didn't go to bed yet. It's not nine yet, I can still be loud. It's sterling, sterling in big old giant honking pieces of turquoise. Unfriggin' believable. Unbelievable. If anybody wants this, we gotta talk about a price, but I'm gonna, otherwise, I think I'm gonna put this on eBay maybe. Or do some research and try to figure out what a good starting bid would be for an auction night. I am blown away. These are amazing pieces. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's my sterling. Precious metal and awesome gems. Ooh, what is this? Oh no freaking way. You guys, it's like a collar. One of these crocheted collars with the beads. <laughs> I was looking at these. Where did I see this? Definitely has, it has uh, the musty, been in grandma's basement for a long time smell to it. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. I'm gonna have to do it. Aw, thank you. Yeah, hit that. Hit that thumb, y'all. I think everyone here is subscribed, but if you're not, dang. Fat neck strikes again. Can I get this thing on without strangling myself? Look at that. That is truly an interesting piece. Oh, no. I missed it. <laughs> Am I beautiful now? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think this is me. I don't think so. This would be really nice with a really high collar shirt. Oh my god, how cute would that be? If I breathe deep, I'm going to pop this thing. But how cool. 
How cool is that? Oh my gosh, I need a high collar neck now. In black. How amazing would that be? Oh my gosh. Jar of the century. I'm kind of <laughs> kind of feeling like that right now. If there's gold in here, that'll lose my mind. I don't know if y'all have seen this necklace, but that thing's pretty sweet too. All right, that's going to stay there for a minute. All right, we've got a little bangle. Uh, it doesn't feel nice, but it sure has a sweet little design on it. How cute is that? There's little leaves in between all these crystals. Um, I'll do a dollar on this if there's no crystals missing. All right, dollar for that one. I don't see any crystals gone. That is cute. Dollar for the bangle. Type in bangle. It needs something so I know which one it is. Not my taste, but hey. Look how big that is. That thing's huge. It's a metal one. See all the pieces there? Yep. Faceted. <clears throat> there goes my voice. Faceted pieces. They're like uh, a pink with like a little shimmer in there. You can probably not tell, but. All right, Teresa, you got it. Woohoo! Oh, where did I put it? There it is. Yay! <clears throat> um, I don't even know. I don't even know where to start with this one. I'll do two bucks on this if anyone's interested. It's uh it's just a little fashion piece. There's nothing real special about it. Here's the back. It's kind of like a antiqued silver coloring going on. It's definitely intentional, whatever they're going for there. Okay, see you later, Elizabeth. I hope you can make it back. All right, Teresa got that bangle, by the way, y'all, because she was in there first. Um, $2 for this honker, honker necklace. Put that guy off to the side. Uh, we have a random piece of glass. I don't know what to do with that. We've got a uh, Girl Scout trefoil logo thingy. Um, I don't even know what to do with that one. I don't think those are worth anything, but I'll, I'll surely look. BPI Oud Prosum. All right, well, your guess is as good as mine on that one. Maybe you know, maybe you know all about this pen and you can educate me a little bit. Let's back to it. I, I presume this maybe went on a uniform or something. There's some spiky little pins on there too. Watch out for that. Oh no, Jenny. <laughs> Don't you hate when that happens? Man, does that mean you miss my epic scores? Like this one? I'm going to have to wear this all the time. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to make this work except for to get the high color black shirt. Here I come, Walmart. All right, here's a little brooch. It's got two faux pearls, I presume. I think it's just plastic. And there's some AB crystals. And it, and it falls right apart just like that. Okay, no, the pin just came undone. Okay, cool. 50 cents if anyone's interested. There's AB beads on either side and some tiny crystals, gold tone. I think these are all plastic. So pearl brooch, 50 cents if anyone's interested. Watch Jenny. She's already like gone because her phone died. <laughs> or were you sending her messages? I thought you were meaning like, don't let it happen to you too, mom. Ooh, this is nice. I presume it was a brooch at one point, but there's no pin on the back of it anymore. It almost reminds me of a Juliana piece, only because um, I know that those pieces have open backs, aka stone holes, on the rhinestones. With This one does. Um, I just wish it had the pin to it, though. So now it's just like a pretty piece. I might be able to craft with this, so I'll probably do that. It looks so lavender on the screen. It's really not that... It's like really pale lavender to me. Look at that center stone though. How cool. How flipping cool. All right, we've got uh, like, what do you call these? Shut up. 
<laughs> it says Sterling on the back. Woo! I'm going to need to sell it all to repair my laptop after I smash everything into it. Um, I have no doubts in my mind that this is actually Sterling, so I'm not going to test it, but I'm going to try to polish a little bit of the front off just to see, because if it doesn't polish, it's not actually Sterling. It might be plated. Yep, nope, there it goes. There goes all that tarnishing. Unreal. I'm going to have to look into this one. These look like those um, pins, like the flight pins. But I could be wrong. So if someone recognizes it, tell me. I'm going in the research pile. Oh, this thing's missing a rhinestone. I actually wore a pin very similar to this on the 4th of July recently. Sadly, it's missing a blue rhinestone and uh, one of the red ones, two of the red ones. It's missing a couple of rhinestones. If anybody wants this, freebie flag is your word if anybody wants that one. Otherwise, it's just going to go in the craft lot. Oh my, what are you? Oh, this matches these. Okay, we found this one earring earlier. Now we've got the necklace. Let's see if there's actually a name on it. There's a tag. It's a C inside. Oh, it's a Monet. Oh, well. There you go. It's got some stuck to it, though. It's got some fuzzies stuck to one of the things, but otherwise it's Monet. Monet, Monet, Monet. That thing's big. All right, Teresa, I'll throw it in your bag. Thank you for playing our game. All right, if anybody wants Monet, uh, we'll do four bucks on the chunky Monet, and I will throw these clip-ons in there if I can find the other one. I can't believe I didn't see this was a Monet earlier. It reminds me, this may deter you from buying it, but it reminds me of a grub. But know that there's a fuzzy stuck to it on one of the things. What did I say? Did I say four or five? Four dollars if I don't find the pair. Five dollars if I do. <laughs> so we'll get back to that. Oh no. Oh, bummer. Oh, the grubs. Fell out. Does that mean it's missing? Oh, it's, okay. It's out. But you can glue it back in if you so desire. So, the grub is out, but he's there. So, four bucks for this Monet if you want it. All right, Jennifer, I got you in. Um, and I'll, I'll give you the other earring when I find it. If I find it. Full disclosure, I might not, but let's see. Ha! I knew I could find it. There he is. All right. You got the grubs. Let me put that in there. I wrote Monet grubs. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, and thank you. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. All right. This one is. All right. My interest is super peaked. All right, y'all help me. Oh, well, it says Taiwan on the back, but there's just an L on this side. Look at this thing. It's like a magic trick. It just keeps on going. What is this? Is this just a giant necklace? I'm so perplexed. Look how long this is. It's like four feet long of chain. Where does it go to? Oh, I just dropped something. Get my nail back. My nails are like my fakies fell off, so now my nails are. Is it a belt? I guess that makes sense. That would explain why I could wrap it around my whole torso if I want to. Oh, my shirt is all screwy. All right, L belt. If anybody wants it, <laughs> it's definitely got some wear to the tone, though. Yeah. See. Yeah. See. Look at this wear. See. The plating's coming off. See. Look at this piece here with that detailing in the back. That's pretty darn cool. I think I'll have to do $3 on this. It's heavy. There's a lot of metal here. 
three bucks on the, the belt if you so desire. This lady's belt. Oh, let me get some of these things in my craft lot. Move them out of the way. I still have these Alex and Anis if anybody wants them. Nine for the set. Correct my bib. My collar. All right, we're almost done, y'all. See, we're pretty low on the on the jar here. In case anyone is dying to... Well, no, I guess if you want me to shut up, you can just close the video. But I, I hope you don't. I'm glad y'all are here. I'm super pumped about it. Hanging out with me here in the dark. Here in the dark. This has nothing written on these tags, but we've got... This reminds me, of, I had a pair of Chico's earrings. Oh, this is Loft. Okay, cool. Loft Outlet. I can't believe they stamped their stuff Outlet. That's very interesting. It's like rose gold tone. Bead necklace, super light. So it looks like maybe it's plastic with gold tone over it. Let me inspect these bad boys. They look to be pretty good shape. I don't see any chipping on that finish. Do, do, do. Just make sure I don't want to sell anything that's chipped. Nope, looks looks good. Looks good. Loft necklace from the outlet. I'll do two dollars for the outlet. Two bucks. Two bucks over me. Lobster clasp on that one. Two bucks for loft if you want that one. <laughs> How far back am I in the chat? Okay, cool. You want the belt too? You got it. I already forgot how much I said. I have such short-term memory. Remind me what I said on that belt. I'll put it in your bag. If I can find it. I just have that problem, don't I? Belt. What did I say? Did I say three on the belt? No, not the belt. You want the... Okay, locked. You just had belt on there. You're throwing me off, Jennifer. <laughs> All right, Gail, you got it. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. My chat is all like wonky. Okay, cool. I won't put you down for the belt. Man, would you be upset when that shows up? <laughs> I did not order that belt. Um, $2. All right. Thank you, Gail. Let me put that in your bag. Be a simple kind of man. Oh, let me get this belt out of your bag. <laughs> Where did Gail's bag go? Somebody tell me. What'd you do? There's okay. Alrighty, into the craft lot. The belt goes for now. The rando bag. I shouldn't keep calling it craft lot because there's wearable jewelry in it. All right, we've got some earrings. Nope, sure didn't. Hold on. Let me go back and dig for the pearl thingy. Where did that go? I know you're talking about the brooch. I just gotta go find it. Cause I threw it in the bag to get it out of the way. Where did it go? Oh dear. All right, hold on. <laughs> Here's the bag. Where are the pearls? Oh, it's right there on top. I'm just fine. Okay. All right, Teresa, you got it. Right here. Pearl bird. In the bag it goes. Okay. As I was saying. Seed bead. Here's another 50 sensor. <laughs> That's not a thing. These are seed beads. It looks like sh different shades of blue. There's like a darker blue and then a light blue. Let me get my other thing back up. 50 cents on these if anyone's curious or curious, interested. They're just little seed beads. I think 
they're glass. I can't confirm or deny that they're not plastic, but I'm pretty sure they're glass. 50 cents on these uh, dangly blue seed bead earrings. All right, y'all. It's time for me to thank you again for hanging out with me. This has been very enjoyable. I'm, I'm glad I came to our, our ladies' night out. Ooh, this is pretty. Oh, it's another one. Ooh, I got an itch. Ooh, an itch. It's another loft. I'll do $2 on this one, too. Same thing, loft outlet. Rose gold tone. And they almost look like little hearts, but not quite. And that's as good as I'm going to get on this one. Focus wise. So $2 for the loft, the second loft. All right, this is what I pulled out. This is so interesting. I don't think I can sell it. Or can I? <laughs> or can I? Now they're all stuck together, however. I can't sell something that's stuck together. All right, we have, this is very interesting. It's like a spiral around this little ball. Here's the matching one. Matchy, match. Oh, they're like little pendulums. Hmm, they feel decent. Now you've got me questioning on this one too. What is it made of? I think I might set these aside and test these. Let me do some testing here. I might grab a paper towel and do some testing. Testing, testing. Just not let the mother-in-law know. No one tell Jeej what I'm using it for. There's a nice little flower bracelet. It says... JM. It looks like there's like a little chunk taken out of it, like the way this thing was made. And it looks like there may have been a letter prior to the JM, but here's a like a fold over clasp. It's got a safety chain on it. And the little, I guess they're enamel flowers, perhaps. Black gold tone. There you go. Bracelet. With the safety chain. It feels nice. I'm wondering what this brand is. But it does have a little wear to the color there. Maybe it's an LUM? It just looks like a J. Something JM, I don't know. Oh, Gail, I see you. I see you. I'll put it in there. Thank you. Thank you for another one. I don't know. I'll have to. I just don't know. It feels substantial, but there's some wear to it. So I'll do three on this one if anyone would like the flower bracelet with the fold over clasp and the safety chain. Three bucks. All right, let's muscle through the rest of this bad boy. Okay, this is cool. Ooh, that's not cute. Are you broken? Or glass. All right, these are glass beads in here set into this gold tone. There's two snake chains on either side. The only thing is, it, I feel like there should have been a loop holding these two together on the side. Okay, Gail, you got it, bracelet. I don't know, I wish there was a brand on this. This is just too cool. With the glass, set in there. This actually reminds me of some rings I came across the other day. We have, it's like a red, kind of like a honey, a honey color, like an amber, and then a little darker, and then another red, and then rinse and repeat. So some honeys and some reds. Very, I'm trying to hold it against my shirt because I don't have my, oh, my neck dummy. So you can get a better idea on color. They're faceted, but like lightly faceted, if that makes sense. Actually, the red ones are not. Or are they? You know what? They're all faceted on the back side and smooth on the front. That's why I can't tell, except for this one. This one is not. 
Oh, they're flat on the side, I see. Okay, yeah. No, they're faceted in the back, but not in the front. That is so darn cool. But it needs a little loop de loop. It needs a jump ring, maybe, over here. I guess you could still hook them together without the jump ring, though. Let me see how difficult that is. Oh, not difficult at all. Okay, so I guess you don't need a jump ring. I do four on this. I, this is so cool, though. I really like this one. So if you like the glass, four for glass, let me know. All right, it's time to switch to the water. My dry throat cannot take it any longer. <clears throat> All right, we got some faux pearls for those who like those. <gasps> Jenny! <laughs> Jenny, come back. Stick that there for now. I don't know if that one's her taste, but I don't not know. All right, this has a, oh, that's an earring. JK, that has nothing to do with it. $3 on this old big old one. Faux pearl, silver tone. Tone is good. <laughs> yeah, three bucks on this one if anyone wants long pearls. All right, this is what I was yelling for you for. I don't know if this is your taste or not, but it's like an artisan made butterfly brooch. Interesting, right? It's got three beads in the center. I can't tell what this thing is made out of. Hold on. It looks tarnished. Let me see if the tarnish comes off because then it might actually be silver with some. Or maybe the tarnish might be intentional or it might be there because they use, they soldered the other metal onto it. Patty wants it. All right, who am I not to do? Wait, are you talking about the pearls, Patty? Okay, um, hold on. Let me figure out what I'm going to do for that one. And also, let me figure out if this is silver or not. That will be a game changer. It's polishing. So let me test this one too real quick. How cute he's got this little, like, look at his face. Can you see? Oh, you can't see. He's got, like, a smile, but also, like, the closed eyes, like he's sleeping. See? Like a peaceful butterfly. Here's the deal. His wing is testing his silver. It could be plate though, because some of the silver is fading. So let me um, let me get a better scratch on there. What could this other metal be? Surely it's not gold and copper. Unless it's gold plated metal or silver. All right, I got a, a good old scratch on that one. All right, I don't think he's silver. He might he might have silver plate on him, but he, that big old scratch did not pull off any silver. So, want the butterfly, no pearls. Okay, three on the pearls, is that what you wanted, Patty? If so, right, yes, pearls. Um, but this thing is so cute. It's like a little tin. Um, we'll do, I'm just going to, and 50 cent increment is fine. I'm just going to do starting a bit of three bucks on this, just in case anybody wants a shot at him. Because I think he's cute and really unique. Oh, no. Okay, cool. Oh, no, I didn't write down the pearls. You're fine. Um, I just think he's super cute. This is clearly an artisan piece. You can see the heat marks from the soldering that they did when they soldered that copper onto it. Here's the back. This little brooch. And then I guess, I guess it, this must be copper wire on his little, his antennas there. And then the beads in the middle are red. The, the top one's red, the middle one's like an amber color, and then the bottom one is a blue. And it's my, I love that. He just looks so peaceful. It's so cute. This is really unique. 
And look at the metal work too. This is like a technique that they do to scratch the metal to put designs in it. Do you see it at the bottom on the gold part? Super cool. All right, I see high bid at $5 with Patty. How cute. Let me see if there's any other butterflies in here at the bottom, because I thought I saw another one, but maybe that never actually happened. Oh my gosh. All right, on deck. This dog. I'll probably start him a little lower though. All right, five dollars to Patty. I'm just gonna put sold in there. I don't think anybody else was interested. I don't see anyone else jumping in. We'll give it a few seconds. I'm gonna call it straight to Patty if no one else jumps in. No countdown. It'll be your own fault. <laughs> Is that five? Okay, Teresa, I'll put them in your bag. Thank you. All right. All right. Sold. Thank you. This one is super cool, Patty. I hope you like it. All righty. Okay. Let's see what else we got. Oh, yeah, the dog. Let's talk about this one. How cute is he? It just seems to be like a stamped tin or something like that. Maybe aluminum. He's bendable, but not super flimsy. He's pretty he's stir sturdy. Look at that cute little puppy face. How adorbs is that? With that star, there's like little star details all over him. So cute. I don't know even what to do with this guy. I wish it had a name. Like a brand on there somewhere. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna check him too. Don't tell Gigi. That's gonna be the this should be the title of this video. Don't tell Gigi. All right, yeah, he's not. I just cheated. I went back and tested some scratches I made earlier <laughs> that are indeed silver. Um, I don't know. Two dollars on the dog. Two dollar for dog. If you want the dog, two bucks. All right, and now you know what? That just reminded me. There's a radio show back in the day called "Now Hear This." It was late night. I want to say it was like techno or something. I can't remember now. All right, so this is a bracelet. Let me see if there's any marks on it. It's got some tarnishing on it. But uh, I don't know what this is. It's got like copper tone to it. Who knows? I'm just going to throw it in a crap lot. It doesn't even feel nice, I'll be honest. Ooh, here's a ring. Oh, no, it's an earring. We haven't come across a single ring this round. This looks like it could be silver. It almost looks like it has little snakes or something. That one looks like a snake. The other ones look like little maracas or like uh, mallets that you play the xylophone with. Xylophone, 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 xylophone. Let's see. Ha, huh, there. And it's like a sparkly, like sandblasted metal at the bottom. They look, they look silver. I say that about everything. This one does. Let me see if I can find his friend. We got some earrings to match that bracelet from earlier. Earrings and bracelet, $5 for the bunch, first person, if anyone wants these. This is a two-strand shell bracelet and earrings. Uh, the, it's like a oxidized silver tone, or maybe, I don't know, it's very dark metal, and it's not smooth. It has like a, I don't know, an antiquing to it. Good grief, I missed a ton. This chat, the chat does not line up in the stream yard at all. All right. Oh, thanks for coming on, Kristen. I appreciate it. I hope you're still here to hear that. Okay, Gail, I got you for dog. 
He's cute. I'm glad you think so too. Let's freeze his bag. Jiggles bag. Okay, what else we got? They might be snakes. They might be snakes. <clears throat> All right. We're making our way. All right. Hmm. How many? I know what state this is. How many of you know the state? Interesting to find this on the necklace. I'm going to have to give this to my mom. Ready, go. What state is it? <laughs> because guess what? Um, as Americans, we are not strong in geography. Didn't know if y'all knew that or not. I was never taught geography. Fun facts for you. Actually, that's not true. Uh, no, I was I was taught I was never taught state capitals. I was taught the abbreviations for states, but not like the geography of it. You know, I think I've like looked. You know, there was a map in the classroom. How does that happen? I went to like one of the most affluent schools in the freaking area, or like at least the county, which is Fairfax, Virginia. That's where I went to school. Anyway, all right, let's see. Let's check the lot and see if anyone's got it. Not Nebraska. Don't be ashamed. I, I'll be surprised if someone gets it. I only know it because I have a lot of relatives that live in the state. No one else wants to embarrass themselves, Patty. That's, that's the truth. <laughs> no one wants to guess wrong. <laughs> it's Minnesota. There you go. Ah, good guess, Jennifer. It is not. It's Minnesota. It's the hat on top of the man in the center of the, of the country. If you look at the states, you know, that's his hat. The, like, uh, Mississippi runs up and looks like a hat. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, go look at a, go look at a map and look for his hat with a little ball on top of it. Okay, back to this. Here we have another piece that looks artisan made and it's a star and it has things stuck to it. Check it out. Watch me be wrong. I'm so confident that that's Minnesota. Watch it not be Minnesota at all. Isn't that cute? I think that might be a garnet cabochon in there. Could be wrong, but it's definitely red. It looks a little purpley on the screen, but my my camera has like a blue tint to it for whatever reason. It is definitely red. <clears throat> um, I'd do three dollars on the star if anybody wants him. Wait, this one's actually stamped. Hold the phone. I'm gonna have to research this one. And again, I can't friggin' read it. I can't read it. All right, I retract my offer. I'm going to uh, research this one first. It looks like a mini light switch plate. <clears throat> I don't want to go into that one blindly. All right, we found the other snake one. Let's test it now. Are you silver? You certainly are, you certainly are. You're silver. And I found you in this jar, I found you in this jar. Uh, 12. $12. On the Southwest inspired snake sterling silver earrings with the post backs. Sadly, there's no, uh, there's no butterfly or, you know, post for it. But I'm sure I could find you one. It probably won't be sterling, though. But there you go. Right now it's telling me that I have comments. Whoop. This thing. All right, so these are sterling. I'm going to set these aside. How cool. How cool. <clears throat> Oh, my thing is stuck. Is it actually stuck? Maybe not. 
Who knows? All right, we're almost done. I know I've been saying that for 30 minutes, but when I say it later on, it happens to be more and more true. Look, look, it matches. I got to find out who this is. Look at this earring. Switch back to my camera. It goes, it's like a match to that star from earlier. Has that same cabochon stone in there. That all doesn't really look at it. We've got some clip on Napiers, maybe? No, that says Japan. Just kidding. All right, Japan. Does it, is there any interest in these? I'll do a dollar on these. Let me get on my. Ha. Huh. They're button clip on earrings. They say Japan on the back. Dollar if anybody wants them. Let's sit them here for now. We're at the bottom where all the junk falls. Except for this. I need to test this guy too. This little one from earlier. Because I'm like, oh, I'm so hoping that's gold and silver. How cool would that be? I'll give it a try. Um, okay, so I got I just have a bunch of things stuck together. Is, do I have any matches? Pretty low down here. Oh, this is really weird. <laughs> it's a wishbone with a ribbon tied to the top of it. That has Christmas colors. That is interesting. All right, let me, I'm digging, I'm trying to get to the, is this a JJ thing? Nope. Urban fetishes, Alice Seeley. I've never seen that brand before. It's very reminds me of uh, some of the art on the walls down in uh, Arizona. I want a jar now. <laughs> you have to like you gotta check the jar out too, though. The jar takes some training too. Anyone can attest. Not every jar is good. Okay, you got it, Patty. Button button pearls from Japan. Put in your bag. Keep losing that dang thing. Um, all right, I'm just trying to see, like, seriously, the rest of this thing. Ooh, here's an amethyst. It's a little amethyst. Um, what you doodle? Yeah, Teresa, ours don't either. There's just one, seriously, within the like Tri City area. I said this earlier, but it's absolutely true. Um, there's only one that has the jars, and they don't have them regularly. You gotta like catch them. I can see the problem with this bib now. It's so twisty. I've just been sitting here practically. And I just dropped something on the floor. Also, it smells like reminds me of my grandparents' basement. So take that for whatever it is. Um, I do two dollars on this little tumble amethyst with a bale. If anyone wants that. Alrighty. Here's the. I'll show you the jar. We're down to the the nooks and crannies here. Is it a ring? Is it finally a ring? It is. Oh, and there's a match to that clip on. Is it another Koro? No. Maybe. It's unmarked. It looks like it, though. Okay, so here. Oh, no, it's missing one. Bummer. Those are pretty, but broken. All right, I missed it, Teresa. What did you want? Oh, it's for the amethyst. Okay, cool. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's a, it's a hunt. You really got to hunt for them around here. And really, it's just that one store. I mean, I called around, and they kept telling me that they don't exist anywhere. All right, this ring just feels really cheap and nothing special. So, oh, free. Let's do a freebie again. If anyone wants it, call it now. It just feels very light. Uh, it has these blue 
I'm sure they're plastic beads in there, but they're actually all there. Maybe it's enamel drops. Hard to say. But they appear to all be there. So ring. Ring is your, your claim word. That, what the heck? You know what? I think pearls are falling off of this thing. That must be what I keep hearing hit the ground. <laughs> all right, Gail, you got it. In your bag it goes. All right. We're digging. We're almost done. Uh, oh, Mexico. It's inscribed. It says BBJ, BBF. I'm really bad at reading monograms sometimes. What do you think? BBJ or BBF? There's like the line through it. Maybe it's even a T. I think it's an F. But being that it's Mexico, it might be sterling. So I might test that. <sighs> and put it in the scrap sterling bag, if it is sterling. Gosh, all right, let me just dig and see what else I got. How cute is that? Look at this little bee. Look, it almost looks like honey on his little butt there. That is too darn cute. I think I might save him for an auction. He's cool. I can't tell what that is. I guess it's just plastic, but it's still really cool. It reminds me of honey, doesn't it? Or amber. But because it's a bee, it makes me think of honey. I like that one. <clears throat> Alrighty. Okay, this one is marked, but I can't read it. Same here. We have these clip-ons that match. It has a blue swirled enamel in there, like a really dark, almost a dark gray blue. Um, I'll do a dollar on these if anybody wants these. Let me know. Well, there's no backs on them though. They're uh, missing their posts. So if anyone wants these, uh, just put swirl. For a dollar. I like bees when they're not stinging me. Okay, Patricia, if you want these, you got it. You got it. And the, it might be a name brand. I just can't read what it says. There's like a block down there that is just like a like flat. It looks like it should have this name on there, but I don't know. I don't know. I didn't know what to call this, so I just drew a picture of them, <laughs> just so you know. Alrighty, I don't know what this is. Those are cute. They look like little sunflowers. But no sunflower earring. Do we have its match? Maybe this is the prop. This is the end of the jar. Y'all know how I feel about ends of jars, and if you don't. I don't like them. A lot of people love it. I don't love it at all. I'm just not feeling it. Okay, I found the other. I found the mat, the mate to this clip on. We got both, and all the rhinestones are there. So a dollar for these silver tone crystal clip ons. If someone wants crystal clip ons for a dollar. Put it in the chat. Be sure you specify what they are. Ooh, this is interesting. It's not missing a crystal. It appears to be a dead crystal, but there's... But why am I showing you? Because there's no matching one. Ooh, here's a napier. No. No meat. Oh, there it is. There's the match, but it's missing a crystal. All right, I'm going to put those in the craft lot. All right, we've got this. Okay, here's the other one. But now there's no post to it. Yep, 
You got it. Crystal clip-ons. Put them in your bag. Thank you. Alrighty. Okay, this is cute. Cue it. That's how they say cute in Minnesota. Cue it. That's so cute. Alright, once again, I found an earring with no back. Oh my gosh, I really just... Oh, look! I get another one of these. This one's actually signed with like... No, maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. Maybe that's just a solder mark. We have another one of these um, bee brooches. Or bug brooches. Maybe this one's... This is a beetle, we'll say. A beetle brooch. How cute! I have one beetle brooch that I kept, but it's like crystals everywhere because I really like shiny things. <laughs> so. Back to this. What do you want? What do you want, Jenny? You gotta give me a description? Because I have like a 20 second delay, so in case you all are getting frustrated with me now you know why all right here's a little pin that looks cute let's see what this is blue something i don't know it's a little uh, oh the beetle you want the beetle oh man how much do i let the beetle would you do four dollars on the beetle I know he's wee, but he's awesome. And all his crystals are there, and he's got a pearl for his head. And if you want me to test him, I will. Actually, yeah, I'll do the tooth thing. This is like the first time in some time I haven't found pearls in a thing. All right, you got it, Jenny. I'll let you figure it out then. <laughs> you let me know if it actually is a pearl or not. Alrighty. Dude, I really just don't even feel like figuring the rest of this out. There's all these little bits and pieces down there. Ugh. I just don't feel like it. Oh, except for when you find stuff like that. Ugh. All right, that might be silver. And it's like stuck in the little crevasses of the bottom of this jar. Let me show you. You see, there's like a lip down there. They're all just stuck in it. And I just, I don't even want to deal with it. I think I just shake it out into a bag. It's caught my eye. Limited limited it says like the store maybe i have so many little odds and ends here tell you what i'm gonna test two things right here let me ask you there's just little bits and pieces down here if i put this up for an auction would anybody want to bid on the bottom of the, the thing here because i know some people enjoy that some people don't and just to sweeten the pot these are matching Napier earrings, and I'll throw those in there. They're just little bits. I can't guarantee anything about what's in the bottom of this thing, except for a pair of Napier earrings with one of them missing a back. But they are matched. So. Teresa's all in <laughs> for that one. Let me see if anyone else chimes in for that. I do. I think the pearls are falling off of this thing. That's a bummer. All right, while while y'all are deciding if you'd like to do that or not. Oh, these are nap. Well, maybe they're not. You know what? I'm gonna. This says Napier on the back of it. I doubt this is it. So I'm gonna put this with the other one, the earring that was missing it back. Um. Okay. So now there is actually a matching pair with Dax.
Well, of course, now this one isn't actually an Apiar back, but it does have a back. <laughs> that one is. So it could be down there. I don't know. I don't freaking know. I don't feel like dealing with it. I see a loose back down there. That looks like it might match. All right. I'm going to start the bits and pieces since there's a couple people interested. All right. Um, God, I don't even know what to start it at. Uh, I'll just do, I'm going to set it aside too. I'll do, um, we'll do starting bid five due to the fact that I know for a fact there's a pair of matching nappy ears in there and everything else is gravy. It could be junk. It could be awesome. I don't know. I don't know. So starting bid, $5. Bits and pieces at bottom of the jar. There you go. Teresa's in for five. I'll put it in a separate bag too. But I'm not sorting through that. That's your job. <laughs> in the meantime. Oh, and I don't know. I'm going to throw that back in there. This I pulled out to find the mate, but it might be in there. It might not. But at least that one's in there. Surprise. That's, <laughs> there you go. Surprise a lot. All right. It may only just be you <laughs> bidding on this one though. I see no other interest. All right, Patty's in for five fifty. I mean, there could be some good stuff in there. I don't want to look through it because I don't want to know if I give you something good. In the meantime, I did. Um, this is the last thing. Well, I pulled these out in the sunflower earrings, and then I'm going to test one more thing. You know, what? I'm going to throw these back in there too. I was going to put these in the crap lot, but I'll put them back in the jar. Those seed bead earrings. And then these. Let me test this while y'all are considering it. It doesn't appear that these are true silver, but they, it's like silver tone inlaid with black enamel. All right, Teresa's got high bid at eight right now. I think they're actually testing a silver. Hold on. They're not fading. I'm going to try that again. All right, eight bucks. Man, that might be a steal of a deal. All right, I'm going to wait just in case anyone else pops back in here. I think these might actually be sterling. It's hard to tell. All right, this is the end of that one. All right, I don't think these are silver. It's hard to tell. Sorry, I'm so quiet. I'm losing my steam here at the end of the night. All right, I can't tell. There's too much crap on my board. I'm going to throw these in there, too. I, I can't tell. I have so much stuff on my board, I can't tell. Um, I can't tell if it's turning blue or if it's just residual from something else, but I'm going to throw those in there, too. <clears throat> All righty. So bits and pieces. Bees and peas. All right, going once. <laughs> going twice going three times Sold. alrighty thanks Teresa what was it at eight end of jar I might always do that I really hate getting <laughs> doing the end of jar thing alright let me cross out um Actually, she's a good buyer. I don't want to do that. <clears throat> okay. Cross out the name on this one. And dump everything in there. Aw, thanks, Teresa. This is fun for me, too. I think there might be um, another auction going on now. 
Okay. All right, there you go. I'm putting it all inside. I'm just going to load this baby up into your bag. Hopefully that's okay with you. All right. I got one more thing to test, and that's this honker to see if it's actually sterling. That would be awesome. Nothing would please me more <laughs> than, well, not so much that if this is sterling, but if the other piece is gold. It's probably all sterling, maybe, and then gold over. But I'm a, I intend to find out. Yeah, Lydia is on. That's who it was. I think she started at eight. <clears throat> this thing is polishing up amazingly. All right, here it goes for the big, wait, hold on. First of all, really quick. Was anybody interested in these? These would be a dollar on these cute little earrings. Although, where do I keep them? <laughs> I just think they're really cute and they're the size I like. I'm gonna keep them, I lied. But I'll show it to you anyway. They're like little sunflowers. I really like small hoops and I'm trying to ease my way into gold, so. All right, so here we go. Last of the night, place your bets. Is this silver and gold? Is it just silver? Is it there? Um, I don't know Lydia's, whoops, uh, like actual channel name. Oh, Tiffany comes on at 10, I believe. Jenny, <laughs> yes, on both what? Hopefully it wasn't um, that you wanted to bid on that the end of the jar because that already happened, but you know. <laughs> All right, here we go. Last test of the night. Here we go. All right, first, first things first is the silver. It is 100% uh, silver. The question is, is this gold? We know this is silver. Is this gold over silver or is it also silver? I don't see a marked anywhere too. That's the other thing that's throwing me off, unless it's on the back. No. Wait. No, okay. Yeah, that is like super bright for silver. Oh, Cindy loves jewelry. Yeah, she's on too. My silver tester. I use um, this. I don't even know what the heck. Been. Actually, you know what? Here's the whole box. I'll show you. Pure test. There we go. That's what I use. Now, the 18 karat, that's what I use to test silver. I don't use the silver test because it's red. And they give you a black testing tile of it. Um... When you test on the black, it's like impossible to see. I've never had success using it because what they tell you to do is if the tile is dark, you use like a rag or something to like a white rag or paper towel to dab the color and make sure the color on the rag is red because it turns red if it's positive and like turns like a yellow orange. It has never, never worked. Okay, gold over silver. That's what I think too. All right, let's do this one. Jenny, Jenny, this thing is scratching gold, like straight up frigging gold. Oh my gosh, I wish I could pull the camera over here so y'all could see. Maybe, don't tell Gigi. Can I do this on the screen? How do I do this so you can see? I'm trying to work it. Look how dirty this thing is, though. See this little corner right here? That's what I'm working with. Wait, is that the one? Dude, yeah, that's it. Okay, do you see this line right here? Confirm for me, y'all. This is extremely difficult, and I'm trying not to spill anything on the bed. All right, that, that is so freaking gold. It's unreal. Can you all see it? 
Because I can't, it's like I have my laptop like closed. All right, I'll do the best I can with what I got going on here. Oh, shoot. Hold on. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's see. It's still, don't congratulate me yet. We, gotta, we still got to test it. So first I'll do 18 because uh, I feel like if it is gold, it's probably 10 or 14. So 18, it should go away. All right, y'all, look. It hesitated. It might be 14. Let's see. All right, so that was 18 carat. Here's the 14. I don't know if you can see this, but... 14k. Let's give this one a try. This is like so ghetto. I'm sorry. I wish I had a better thing. Ah! <laughs> Look at that. Look. Look at it. Stare at it. Love it. Admire it. That is friggin' 14 karat gold and silver. I am friggin' stoked right now. Oh my gosh. That's so cool. Let me adjust my bib. I thought so, because, and I'll tell you all why. So another thing, let me go through this process really quick, and then and then I'll be out of here. Uh, this would not have convinced me. It was this one with the dent in it. Gold is extremely soft, um, especially like 14 karat gold and higher. It gets really soft because it doesn't have additional alloys to strengthen it. Also, the fact that it's hollow, they don't, you would not find a solid piece of gold earring like this because that is expensive as crap. So there we go. We got a nice pair of silver and 14 karat earrings. Also, other thing, the post is gold through the whole thing. That'd be another tip to look for. Um, and that it tarnished up. If you don't, if you're in a store or something like this, say you're at a yard sale, you pick these up. You're like, hmm, maybe. Uh, check out the tarnishing on it and see like if you can rub it a little bit. If you can get a good rub on there with your finger, you should be able to pull some of the tarnish off and get it to shine a bit. It's a lot easier with the polishing cloth and things like that, but score. That's all I can say. Score. This is freaking thrilling. Awesome. Awesome. What an amazing jar. What a great way to end it. I am so freaking thrilled like right now. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Hit that thumbs up if you haven't already. I'm going to give you a second to do it before I end the broadcast. Um, because Lord knows I need the thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Or if you're new to the channel. If you're watching this later and you're not live with me. Be sure to subscribe. Because I'm doing a giveaway for every 100 followers or subscribers. And giving away a jar. It's like a mason jar stuff full of jewelry when I hit a thousand. So be sure to do that. I know. I'm so pumped. I'm so pumped. So excited. That was great. That was great. Awesome. Thank you all so much. Um, props to Jeej and David for letting me use their house yet again. And I guess that's it. So watch some videos. Have some fun. Hope you all have a great night. And uh, hopefully I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you. Now I gotta figure out how to end the stream because I always have that problem. All right, there's the button. Okay, thanks y'all. Bye. Gold, gold, gold. Oh, I have to hit it again. Gold, gold, gold. Gold, gold, gold. Oh, yes.